So it seems like we got Wuthering Waste drama before the game has even released. I'm making this video like a few hours before release. I think we've got about 12 hours, which is just great and it's going to be coming out at 4 a.m for me which is yeah insane but i just wanted to quickly talk about this whole situation going on which not many people are talking about because it's kind of like an infighting kind of situation just between the people it hasn't kind of like exploded onto the whole weathering is community and you may be wondering why i'm on v's page now if you don't know v he's a very very great content creator i love his content and yeah he's, he's a very cool guy but what he did he released this tweet uh, on may 20th which says Bro, the game ain't yours. What he says underneath is the context, which says this little slime narrow shit as a channel where he re-uploads Wuthering Way's official content. Bro is parading around warning and copy striking small YouTubers for using the official Wuthering Way stuff he yoinked, which is just kind of crazy. Now, if you don't know who narrow shit is, he actually has been featured on the channel a few times. I mean, I've used a lot of his content on here and he's even commented on one of my videos. And now what I've been doing all the time, I have been making sure to credit the right people. I mean, you know, everyone deserves a bit of credit but after all of this news came out i really don't think i can use his content anymore and whenever i'm talking about this whole situation narashio is actually like legally within his rights to you know kind of keep everything and copyright stuff but it's just kind of a bit of a dick move if you get what i mean it's it's more of like a non-legal thing and more of a moral thing because weathering waves is a new game and the community is just growing so why would you want to alienate yourself from all of these content creators by you know taking down other people's content because if you do this then no content creator is going to want to use your stuff or just use any of the footage you have or interact with you at all because you know you've now built yourself a reputation for you know, doing this kind of stuff now v actually provided some screenshots here this is another streamer or youtuber or whatever who has received a strike from narashio and the worst part about this is that it's not just a copyright takedown there is a difference on youtube between copyright takedown and a copy copyright strike what a copyright strike does it adds a strike to your channel which if you get three like in baseball or whatever you're out you get banned you're gone you're terminated and i have been very close to this before so i know how it feels like now if you don't know the past of this channel i used to make amvs and in this day and age it's really really hard to make amvs because of all the music and the content in it so there's gonna be like left right and center copyright claims coming in and it's just like not monetizable at all but what i did get a few times was copyright strikes and Usually this would come in the form of a couple copyright strikes at a time. And actually at one point I had two strikes on my channel, which was extremely scary because as you know, a third one, I'm gone. I am literally gone from YouTube. My channel's gone. Everything I worked for is gone. And it's extremely scary having these strikes because, you know, all of this stuff that you've worked for, all of these videos, all of this like revenue source that you've got is gone in an instant and pretty much what i did whenever i had two strikes i just had to stop uploading or uploading such controversial video and every time i uploaded a video i was scared that someone was going to take it down or someone was going to strike it and that's the end of my channel now if we go to now Shia's channel here is what he pretty much does is just re-upload previews from china and kind of upload content maybe they've filmed it themselves or sometimes they just upload just trailers and stuff and re-upload it I mean, it's pretty lazy content, if you ask me. Doing this kind of stuff is pretty easy. I mean, I could probably do it if I could actually be bothered. But again, it's also not extremely popular either, especially whenever the game is fully released. And to copyright strike someone for a preview, I'm pretty sure this is actually a preview of like the gameplay showcase or something i'm not sure if they actually recorded this themselves or if this is a trailer from koro games which uh, he is claiming it to be he's actually added a strike to their channel for doing this which is messed up like strikes can severely affect your channel as i said it's super scary having them as i've had them before but also it affects your like kind of discoverability on youtube too i mean youtube you know just tend to recommend your content less and push out your content less whenever you have a strike because they think, hey, this guy might actually commit more strikes in the future. So we don't really want to be showing this off to, you know, the audience. Which is fair enough in YouTube's term. I mean, you know, you want to prevent these this kind of like bad content going out. But whenever it isn't bad content at all, and it's just Narashio taking down these videos because they feel like it, it is so messed up. And as I said, this content isn't hard at all, and you're taking this down. I mean, I can kind of understand if you have videos that you've worked super hard on that you know you want to take it down because you know it's your work and you don't want another person to claim it's theirs but whenever it's just stuff like exploration and stuff like trailers and like you know trailers aren't even yours you didn't even like make anything to do this you just downloaded it and re-uploaded it it is just super scummy and yeah in the past i've taken down videos for copyright before i mean i get it some people do like to take down videos including myself whenever it gets obviously plagiarized 
As if you don't know, I have a few popular shorts on my channel at the moment, and there is a lot of people that like to take it. And pretty much YouTube has this tool where it can pretty much copyright match my video to someone else's video. So it will tell me whenever someone has literally like blatantly copied my video. So what I will do, I will request for them to be taken down because some people like don't even add credit at all. Like I don't mind if you add credit or if it's in some kind of compilation or if you're like transforming the content. But these guys are straight up stealing the video, pretending it to be like theirs. And it's kind of weird. I just don't like it. I know a lot of people think, oh, but it can grow you. I don't like it at all because like they're using my voice and my stuff. And literally, the, you know, my video, which I spent hours editing and they're just claiming it for themselves. I don't feel right about that. And so I take those ones down. But if you're transforming it and, you know, doing something new of it, that's totally fine. I'll let you use it 100 percent. But what I won't do is give someone a strike. I will literally just ask for it to be taken down and not give them a strike. It's just so stupid. But compared to Naoshio's content, where like a lot of it isn't really edited at all. I mean, you know, some of this trailer stuff isn't edited at all. Bro, like, what are you doing? And don't get me wrong. I really like Naoshio whenever, you know, it first started up. And yeah, yeah, I was using a lot of their content and it was great. It was super useful. But after doing this to content creators, I just don't know if I can use this content anymore. Even if I do credit you and stuff. I just don't know if I can bring myself to do it because it feels like I'm just kind of like supporting the wrong cause. What if I could be using a ton of similar channels which make similar content that don't do this kind of stuff and actually let the community do it because you're a reposting channel. Of course, people are going to use your content. You can't just make a channel like this and go, oh yeah, no, no, no one's going to use this content. I mean, who on earth would use gameplay content in another video and transform it? I mean, what, why the hell would you do that? I mean, exactly like this is the exact reason of your channel, but a lot of content creators will use this stuff to put it in their videos for either B-roll or even just to like study stuff like gameplay, for example. But you just want to go and take it all down, which again, is just super messed up. And then this was also another post from Naoshio, which says this is a warning to all content creators who are using my video without credit or even asking for consent. I'll give you a warning before striking. If you're being rude like this, I'll give you a strike without even thinking. Thank you. Again, weird weird as fuck i mean again talking about the strike thing if you want a video to be taken down a you can take it down you don't have to strike them or b you could just message the person just message them be like hey i don't appreciate using my content please don't use it and nine times out of ten they'll do it like of course and if they say something like hey i'll credit you on the video maybe that's fine you can accept that but if they you know ignore it then that's the time whenever you can actually use youtube to go and take it down but what you need to do is actually talk to the content creator first if you want to be even some kind of what humanized in the community because if you do stuff like this and don't even talk to content creators before this stuff goes out then people aren't going to see you as a very valid content creator and a very nice one to talk to in the community you've just kind of tarnished your reputation here and then Naoshio also followed up here saying after the recent events i'd like to make a public statement on what happened number one i saw my gameplay footage being used without my permission and youtube informed me that i could issue a strike so i did since it's well within my rights to not allow others to use my content when i was emailed to remove it i didn't initially understand what retract meant and was hesitant to act after understanding what retract meant while my approach may not have been ideal issuing a copy strike is within youtube's policy and my rights number two regarding claims of reposting Kuro games content my channel is a new source aiming to keep the community informed i upload content that may be available on one platform but not on another bridging this gap for the community the content i recorded on cbt2 is mine because i spent countless hours often staying up late and waking up early to gather and share news from kuro any content creator is welcome to use my footage just dm me for permission and credit me thank you for understanding and then he tagged v and also someone else i'm pretty sure this is the person that he took the video down from so pretty much he's explained why he actually you know copyright struck a channel and i feel like narashio won't really do this again because you know he actually understands what it means it might be a little bit of cope and that he knew fully well what it meant and he's just trying to cover up his actions i don't know and i really hope that's not the case and that he doesn't do it in the future but also just saying regarding the claims of reposting kuro games content that you stayed up all night and waking up early recording content for cbt2 brother cbt2 was out for ages you can't tell me you can't tell me you're on cbt2 day and night recording stuff super late i mean you've had so much time and you were sweating off your ass to do this i don't believe that for one second now obviously for news and stuff i can see why you'd stay up for that because you know some stuff is in china so it'd be a different time zone and getting out as quick as possible is essential for a news channel so that's completely fine but i don't believe that the cbt2 footage was you know that painstakingly hard to record 
And whenever you upload footage like this, you just got to expect that people are going to use it. Now, if there's people re-uploading it and saying, hey, this is like one-to-one -one gameplay footage that I recorded myself and just saying that they recorded themselves. Okay, fine. Take it down. That's completely fine if they're completely stealing your video. But for other content creators that are just using it and using it as B-roll and talking over the top of it, or maybe, you know, including it as some kind of example of how a character plays, then you just shouldn't really be striking it because it's just really weird. And in this community, people just aren't going to want to use your content in the future. Now, there's also this post from Legions Gaming too. If we go down here, they left a massive essay on this situation. I mean, Legions is a very cool guy. I've talked to him a few times. And pretty much what he says is that he needs to weigh on this situation because he thinks that it is dog shit. And that he said that he's on some kind of power trip and copy striking small channels that honestly probably don't even know better. Because they're new and using his no commentary footage of CBT2 that takes no effort at all, any schmuck could upload no commentary gameplay and call it a day. Now that is exactly the point I'm getting across. This hasn't got any commentary, any editing really, maybe a few cuts, any kind of, you know, other thing apart from just recording the CBT2 footage. And yes, whenever you record footage, I know I'm saying this a lot, but whenever you record footage for a game, expect people to use it because there's a lot of content creators out there that didn't get CBT2 footage they didn't get access to cbt2 i didn't get access to the beta test although that was probably my fault because i completely forgot to sign up but that's a different story because i can still use other gameplay that other people have collected up and make my own transformative video on this but narashio just isn't letting that happen and then legions goes on to say about how they just re-upload official trailers with no commentary and making it like look like you're the official channel now yeah if you can't even see that, they are literally trying to make it look like they're the official channel. This is the same thumbnail, I'm pretty sure, that they use. And yeah, it's just super scummy overall. I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with re-uploading the content, but, you know, it's easy to see that this is low effort. I mean, if you really want to make a news channel surrounded by, you know, Wuthering Waves, which I'm guessing that's what you're marketing yourself as because it's news, archive, and reposting official inf information. To be honest, at least they're honest about reposting the official information because if you want to have a news channel, then just do something like me. I'm not saying be like me or like be like some other content creators out there. Maybe use your voice or if you have to use an AI one, which I really hate, so don't. But like, you know, maybe, maybe use your voice and talk about these news updates. If you like, you know, you can actually, there's tons of Wuthering Waves news out there. So make a video, sit down, maybe have like a picture or two up on the screen and talk about it rather than just re-upload random stuff and re-upload official trailers and stuff like that and also just upload gameplay footage. How about use that gameplay footage and talk over the top of it and make actual high quality news content before you come at people and start copywriting them. Because if you actually made proper content with actual voiced opinions and actual voiced news, then to be honest, I wouldn't blame you for taking down these videos because it includes your voice, includes some maybe a little bit of editing, you know, maybe add a few pictures up, few transitions, maybe have like a little, you know, little PNG tube or something of your, of your little uh, chibi thing there honestly i think that'd be pretty good but seeing as you literally like upload no commentary no like face cam no nothing no kind of interactive content then you should expect people to use this and you shouldn't be taking it down this is just gameplay that people want to use as b-roll and literally every other channel that does this similar content which i respect way more than you at the moment don't take this down because they know this is the kind of stuff that gets used for like gameplay footage you know whenever you sit down with your lunch or whatever and you try to find the best youtube video yeah you we've all had that we've all tried to find the best youtube video they're not clicking on a weathering ways gameplay footage like let's be real here no one wants to sit through entire weathering ways footage for gameplay i mean yes maybe they'll watch the first couple seconds look at a few abilities and stuff okay cool next video but what people are mainly looking at is the people that transform this content and actually talk about these characters at length while having this footage in the background. So maybe next time you upload a video like this gameplay, talk about it. Talk about the character and what they do over the top. I think people will enjoy that way more. And honestly, I think the video will just do a lot better. Because as you can see, the views are already going down. I mean, we're getting close to, you know, release day. You were getting some pretty good views. 22k, 26k. I mean, these were literally just, this is just a re-upload of a trailer. You were getting pretty, pretty decent views. But now they're going down. We're getting like you know, 3.9k, 2.5k. I mean, you got 16k for the OST. That's pretty decent. 900 views, 1.7k. And I know it's only the first few hours and stuff, but again, that isn't like, you know, sustainable. I don't think you could stay, sustain this for a long time. So how about take this opportunity from all of this to transform your content and maybe, you know, create a channel which actually has some meaning behind it. You could still record some footage of gameplay and stuff in the game, but maybe just talk over the top of it too, because it adds more to it. I think a lot of people would respect you more for taking down the videos if you actually put some effort into this content. Now, I'm not trying to say that you can't just repost content like this and, you know, do this kind of channel stuff. I mean, if you want to do that, 
then fine. But I feel like if you make content like this, it'll be much more fulfilling. Now, you know, this whole video, I've been kind of bashing you like the entire time. But this is like actual advice that I'm trying to give you. Maybe try like transform your content a little bit because it will help you in the long term. I mean, yes, on Twitter, you've been doing pretty decent. I mean, there's a lot of content coming out and you've been covering all of it and a lot of people enjoy it. Maybe keep the Twitter to the news and all of this new stuff and then maybe on your YouTube make some more transformative and you know more exciting videos for people to watch so that you can be more respected in the community and not just upload re-uploads of what you know Kuro Games have already put out because I agree with Legions here because what he says is watch how good your videos do when content creators that actually add transformative and fun content to the gameplay make videos on release and no one will need your videos anymore. So what he's pretty much saying there is that whenever Wuthering Ways comes out we won't really need a channel like Narashiro anymore because there's a lot of CB22 footage, but whenever the game comes out, we don't need beta test footage anymore because the game's out. I can literally log in and record it myself. And if you keep releasing gameplay footage like this, I doubt many people are going to watch the channel. Now, yes, there is a lot of channels out there, especially with older games like Genshin and Honkai, which still upload gameplay footage to this day. And they do fine, but it's not really like sustainable, I don't think. I don't think you can really make a whole like, you know, if you, if that's your plan with YouTube to make a whole career out of this or, you know, have this as a very like important hobby, then just uploading this kind of stuff won't really do it for you. I think that definitely transforming your content will be something that will improve everything. But until I see that, I doubt I'm going to be using any of this footage anymore. Now, it is a shame because, you know, you do upload a lot of very, very good content. It is it is nice to see like some gameplay out there, which I could use and it's high quality. But there's also a ton of other channels that do that, that don't copyright strike my videos. And I mean, fair play to you, you haven't actually copyright struck my videos, you know, recently. And that's probably because I actually left credit, which I appreciate that, you know, you don't take down a lot of people that actually leave credit. But even if they're not leaving credit, I mean, you know, it's just why? Why? Why do it? But yeah, I'm not going to be using this content anymore. And if I see a change in the future, maybe some commentary added on, then maybe I'll react to it, you know? It might be fun, but yeah, this is our first little bit of Wuthering Waves drama coming out. And um, yeah, it, I, I hope this is the first of many because it is a lot of content for me. I, did, I just enjoy this stuff. It's it's super fun to see internet feuds, I'll be real. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and even follow my Twitch. And yeah, it's pretty much a few days after Wuthering Waves. I mean, I don't know how it's going because I'm recording this like a few hours before release. So I hope it's all going good for you. I hope you got the characters that you want. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. We'll be making way more Wuthering Waves videos. Yeah, see ya. Face we do the beat, hands up and face who you wanna be. We're reaching heights and seeing who.